Hey, what's up guys? Alan with Sonic Electronics Q&A. And today's question is from Garrett from YouTube. Actually, I'm sorry, Facebook. And uh, how do I wire two subs in one box with separate chambers? Uh, so he's got a divider. And uh, wiring through the MDF wall, drill a hole, uh, wire on the outside, question mark. So we actually chose this question because we actually get this question a lot in general. So we're gonna kinda answer that. Brendan's working on something in the background. I don't know what he's doing. What, what are you doing, Brendan? A nav override and a 2014 Chrysler 300 with a front view camera. Nice. So it doesn't hit curbs. Sweet, well let's get back to our question here. So I've got two examples I'm gonna give you really quick. And over here is a pre-manufactured box. And as you can see, it's got two terminals. This is like a down firing truck box or a behind the seat box. We've got two terminals here. There's a divider in this box. So of course, this video, I'm, in this video, I'm not gonna be able to tell you exactly how to wire it in terms of what you need to wire it in terms of series or parallel, depending on your configuration of your setup for your woofers and your amplifier. However, what I can give you is some information on a couple different ways to do this and maybe a way to make it look cleaner depending on how picky you are with your pre-built box. So here's a pre-built box, two terminal cups. Now obviously we can run both of our wires to our monoblock amplifier, which is the typical thing. Um, or uh, we can do our series or parallel wiring outside of the box and run one single strand of cable to our amplifier, or we can do that on the inside of the box. But the inside, doing it on the inside of the box is gonna require us to drill a small hole in the divider, so that way we can wire our woofers inside the box in either a series or parallel configuration. And then we would just utilize one terminal going to our amplifier. So on the bench here, I've got two 12 inch woofers. I've got this piece of MDF and this bench and I'm gonna move these out of the way and this is just representing our box, our two woofers and our divider. So obviously you would do your wiring inside the box for each woofer uh, in each chamber and then we would need to drill a hole through the center of the divider to do our wiring in either series or parallel that way we can utilize one terminal cup. So in order to do that a simple way would be just drilling a hole. Of course, you need the right size drill bit depending on the gauge of the cable that you're using. I'm just gonna drill a hole here real fast. Obviously, it'd be easier if this was actually a box, but it would be hard to show you that. So, now we've drilled our hole. And of course, like I said, you wanna use the appropriate size drill bit. Now, we're probably not gonna wanna just run the cable right through, because as you can see, if we just did that, we'd have some leaks in the box. And of course you could put some silicone in there. Um, and of course you definitely wanna let it dry. But what I like to do, if I'm gonna do this, I would actually take my wire. And of course, this is just an example. You'll probably need a much longer piece, but we would just go ahead and tie a knot in the cable and we'd pull it real tight. And then what we would do is we would run our cable through now and as you can see, now this actually helps, so that way the cable can't, at least on one side, pull through. It's actually nice and tight. But what we want to do is we'd actually want to silicone this. So what I like to do is I like to take my silicone here, and I like to apply a little silicone right around the hole, around the cable, and then just basically pull it tight and let it dry. You also can go as far as applying a little bit of silicone on this side just to seal it up. The key here is letting this dry. If you don't let it dry, then you have the potential for an air leak inside the chamber and that's what you want to avoid. Now this isn't gonna ruin the box. This isn't gonna mess up any performance as long as you seal the actual hole. Um, obviously, there are other types of boxes that don't have a divider. Those are called a common chamber enclosure. So this isn't a common chamber, so we need to drill a hole just like we showed you there. Now, I know some people say, oh, why'd you do that, this and this and that. Well, a lot of times we find that even using a terminal cup in a box can lead to a failure. Sometimes when we build custom boxes for something that's going to be permitted in the car for high, high power, high current, we won't even use a terminal, we'll actually drill a hole, silicone it, 
epoxy, whatever you want to do, whatever, whatever material you want to use to ensure that that's sealed, you're more than welcome to use. But the reason why sometimes we don't use a terminal cup is because, and I'm sure all of you out there, some of you guys have probably run into this before, your terminal cup melts. Why did my terminal cup melt? Well, because you don't have a good connection there all the time when you just, you know, even if you solder it or not, you've got another connection, another point of contact that can have added resistance and that can re relate to heat and that can actually melt your terminal cup. So there's nothing wrong with this method. I'm sure some of you guys um, have run across that before you've had a melted terminal cup. This is just a simple way to take a pre-built enclosure, do the wiring on the inside and just utilize one terminal cup. That way if you ever wanna remove your box in and out of your vehicle, you're just using one terminal. It's a lot cleaner and the wiring behind the scenes looks cleaner as well. So I hope that this answered your question, Garrett, and some of you guys out there, hopefully with the terminal cup issue, that uh, hopefully that kind of explains a little bit about that. I'm Alan Wasonic Electronics. Thank you for watching.